Right now, we're going to check this out. This is one video that I've been wanting to watch for a long time, but just other videos kept popping up and kept getting in the way. But I need to get this done. The Axeman on the Hogwarts Legacy Boycott. Now, of course, this is fresh off the Elden Ring situation. If you guys don't know about that, we'll, we'll check it out on the Axeman's uh, channel. Hilarious. Awesome. Huge shout out, dude. Mad, mad, mad respect to the Axeman. Mad respect. Alrighty. And I, will, I won't mention too much on that end, because we're, we're definitely going to have to react to that. Right? I love him. But what I do want to see is this whole Hogwarts Legacy boycott situation. Because I've been avoiding it for too long, and I feel like if I don't if I don't mention that whole stance, eventually somebody's going to freaking get in the freaking stream, and that's going to be a whole thing, right? So I'd rather get my opinions and stuff out here and not have to worry about that during the gameplay casting spells and i'll explain why and because we're playing that tomorrow game, and all of a sudden <coughs> yeah a you didn't ask for this you didn't choose this yet there it is what's up everybody this is the act man here and this dude with the one though hazmat suits and jumping head i will say i own literally zero merchandise from harry potter ever seen but I, I, that just just to mention two. that out unlike many of the hot takes that will be presented in this video i completely understand if you don't want to watch this video and you don't care about any of the political social issues uh, people have been talking about surrounding Hogwarts Legacy. If I literally don't care about any of it. I'm here just for you, Actman. I'm here just for your... Oh, for that, that chiseled chin and those glasses. <laughs> if you're a video game, that's totally fine. You do not have to be an activist. Now, I did talk about this on my second channel, Actman TV, in a separate video. So go subscribe there and check that out if you're curious and you want more of this content. With that being said, let's discuss the boycott of Hogwarts Legacy. Because while it seems... What did that center one say? <laughs> That's how the road to hell is paved. It started off as a unified Wait, what? boycott on the r slash gaming circle jerk subreddit and other internet forums like Reset Era. It is an army bred for a single purpose. <laughs> <laughs> to destroy the world of gaming. It began to spread this to dude. <laughs> the internet like Twitter and a lot of people were just ripping on JK Rowling, which is totally fine. And Go fair. for it, my dude. But she deserves it to be real with you. To a certain degree. Game. Don't please do not harass anyone. <laughs> but I'm saying, uh, you know. You, you give bad takes, you, some people are going to give you bad takes back. You get what I'm saying? There's there's always going to be, a, you know, a little bit of hatred towards you. But uh, please don't harass anyone. It, there's just no reason. It doesn't help anyone at all. Like, in both sides. And a boycott into attacking anyone who was remotely excited for the game or who wanted to play it or stream it. This is the line you What a terrible website. Across. Literally just a website to, to tell you where to go harass. Oh, you stepped over the line. As shocking as it is, you know that there are people on this planet who don't spend every waking moment stalking J.K. Rowling's social media posts. Yeah. It's impossible! Some of these people have no idea what she's said in the past, and now suddenly these random Harry Potter fans are, are being told that they're a bigot. Please do not support the upcoming Hogwarts Legacy game. The reason being is that you may not be aware that by supporting this title, you are essentially aligning yourself with some really heinous transphobic values. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? The boy can't start <laughs> others. You are a bad person. You have terrible morals that are hurting trans people by purchasing this game. You are advocating for their genocide. You know, we still got some of that trans What? You spend what? Your money on Harry Potter products. <laughs> what? Bad person is essentially what the boycott turned into. But yeah. The people used such absurd appeals to emotion, right? Like not everybody Bro, like, touches. Uh, I, I don't think he's gonna mention it on this video because this came out before this situation. But pick a me. Like, after an, like I'm not like we don't know if this is the, the the case yet. The only things we do know is like these like, pick a me just announced her graduation. One month, which is typically the amount of time you put before, like, announcing your graduation. Like, that's probably the shortest amount of time is one month. Uh, so she announced that she wanted to play the game, got incredibly harassed, and suddenly she's graduating. As soon as possible, basically. Like, very amateur YouTube detective here. But it sounds to me... Like, people literally just harassed her.
for this game and ruined her career to a certain, like, just completely, like, made her decide she no longer wants to do this. And I will give my full opinions on this, but I just, I want to get through this video. Harry okay, Potter so. is instantly transmogrified into a hateful bigot. That's just stupid. Is every game journalist, critic, and content creator who covers this game as part of their job now a terrible person? No. Are all the people going to Harry Potter Land and Universal Studios? I haven't gone no. there yet. So where did these boycotts have not visited as of yet? Idea? I had to get to the bottom of it as it was the crux of their argument. JK herself has said that purchasing anything that she helped to create is a statement of support for her and her views. Did she now? This is something Yeah, from what I've seen, no, she never said that. Nauseam. Now, one person who said Like this, never. I've never seen a quote like this. Source. Uh, and the reply was to tell me, go Google it, and then they blocked me. Which is always a good sign, right? When you're That's like all of these people have literally zero spine and zero argument to make. They're just cowards. They're just cowards. Like, hey, can I uh, who feel empowered by their keyboard? Like, nope. Bye. As it happens, I I found the quote they're referencing, and it's a tweet from J.K. Rowling. Now, again, whatever you think about her, I'm just trying to set the record straight on everything. Now, remember, their entire argument that buying Hogwarts Legacy is an endorsement of J.K. Rowling and all her beliefs hinges on this one single quote. Someone tweeted at her, how do you sleep at night knowing you've lost a whole audience from buying your books? J.K. responded, I read my most recent royalty checks, and I find the pain goes away pretty quickly. So yeah. What does this have to do with her beliefs? On trans people? Well, I'll tell you. Absolutely fucking nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's to begin with, right? The idea that purchasing a product is like an endorsement or, or a validation of someone's beliefs. Like, even if J.K. Rowling said that, she'd be an idiot. Because if paying someone money is an endorsement, then all of us who pay taxes are going to hell. Buy yep. <laughs> Do you like Disney, you anti-Semite? <laughs> not an endorsement of anything besides, I want to play this game. Yeah. Want to try it out. Yeah, you know all those Disney characters that are that are that are also you know uh, trans anti-Semites because they're they're involved with Disney. Oh, it looks fun, but this tweet isn't even about that. So the idea that royalties she collects from sales of Hogwarts Legacy go towards like these funds and campaigns to wipe trans people off the planet it falls apart under the most basic of scrutiny separate your emotion and read the words in english she's not saying money she makes is validation of her beliefs it's validation that people still love her work that she makes money and doesn't give a fuck what you think so now the obvious question is, is why the harry potter game why this out of out of all of jk rowling's sources of incomes why is this the thing that people are targeting. Well, why are you so fixated on this game? It's funny, because that's actually my it, question uh, as well. I think it's honestly because it's a so very easy target. This game? It just <laughs> seems so odd to me that out of every avenue she gets money from, you decide to go after this Warner Brothers video game that she's not even involved with. <laughs> why? Because it's easier. No, what did I just say? Bed, pajamas on. Yep. Right onto your keyboard yep. and type in Harry Potter game bad. Therefore, Yay. I'm a good person. At some point, these movements always get hijacked by disingenuous individuals trying to look like the they never actually accomplish or do anything or validation. You see, my goal they just is harass. To these They're just meant to harass people. They really are slacktivists. So even though these people have slacktivists, no great, dude, that's a good. Okay. <laughs> I can still respect their desire to boycott something because it's. I'm about to, I'm about to steal that one from you, dude. <laughs> spend your money. So uh, don't tell me what to do. Do we have an accord? Good. Let's shake on it. But nope, that's not how these folks operate. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Now, once the game hit early, only Sith deal in absolute spiral into pure doom. <laughs> Introducing, have they streamed that wizardinggame.com? Find out if anyone you follow on Twitch has streamed a literal a harassment simulator. So like you can bully and harass them. This is a really productive use of everyone's time. Like no, it's not. Dog? You took time out of your day, dude. They literally like you want proof that these people are literally have no freaking like. They don't even care about their own cause. They genuinely do not care about their own cause. They are just here to ruin the reputation of their cause, a genuinely good and noble cause. They're just here to ruin it, make it look bad destroy its message ah uh, dude and then and then when the people that they are criticizing start to literally make charities 
They start to donate money to the causes, to the genuine charities and causes. They harassed them as well. They even harassed a YouTuber and stopped him from doing a charity stream. And what, whatever that YouTuber's political opinion, uh, opinions are, their leanings, their whatever, the fact that you, as someone who champions this cause, stop, some, like, stop someone from potentially donating a lot of money to the cause, you're a garbage person. I don't care. To, to like, make just come on. Base, then deleted it like you're, 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 not, you're not an ally to the cause. You're just not. <laughs> just came out with a search engine intended to be used to target and harass random Twitch streamers, but the second he starts getting flack, he cowers back in his molehill. You're a pussy. I also love the irony of him being afraid to say the name of the game. I think there was a similar concept like that in, in the books, maybe. So they tried bullying other <laughs> to not stream Lord Moldy Butt. Some succeeded, which is unfortunate. One such streamer was Hassan Piker, who's one of the biggest on Twitch. Now, he wanted to stream the game and do a fundraiser on those streams with charity funds that would go towards helping trans people, a noble cause. Luckily, his audience was apparently successful in convincing him not to play the game and not to raise money for yeah. the charity. Everybody there you was go. like, don't play it, don't do it. Don't fucking, uh, don't play it and fundraise for a trans lifeline by playing that game. Okay, I won't. It's too much of a headache. Way to go, guys. Good job. Congratulations. Mission accomplished, everyone. We stopped the trans community from getting... Needed and well-deserved money for their cause. Good job, everyone. We did it. You all pretend to care about. Real class act. Nicely done, gentlemen. Your work here today has made the chancellor a very heavy man. The only reason why I, I'm not playing this game, and I know a bunch of other people are not playing this game, is because we know that it's not worth it to get fucking bullied endlessly. And it really is not. Endlessly. It really is not well, worth it. Me is like. Hassan, why should you give a fuck what these people think? But the other part yeah. of me understands <laughs> that, like, you don't want to bring such a toxic, divisive topic to your audience. Like, I totally understand, as a content creator, just not wanting to deal with that at all. But it's fucking wild that this man is getting any shit at all for talking about Hogwarts Legacy when he just used his platform to raise over a million dollars for victims of the earthquake in Turkey. These people... P.S. P.S. I'm just saying this. I'm just pointing this out, Hassan. I have no problems with you whatsoever or anyone else on the platform. I think we should all be united to a certain degree. However, uh, you also, like, gave the other people flack for handling criticism. Like, you know, a little emotionally. <laughs> so... Maybe, maybe, maybe stop giving other YouTubers flack for, you know, for not being able to handle bullying when you yourself are also getting bullied and Don't care you kind of see the other it. side of the coin there, you know? <laughs> it's, it, you can do the nicest things. Oh, I yeah, the Mr. B situation. So oh, I should watch his reason. video, actually. It's a waste of time. So what was that? Hold on. Saw this with Mr. Beast. It's, it, you can do the nicest things and they will still hate you. So don't... Hogwarts Legacy trans character was apparently added to distract. She's trans? <laughs> I just got that! Oh, I look so dumb! On my last freaking video, I was I mentioned the fact that she had a deep voice and that I liked her voice! Oh, that's what she meant about people not so recognizing that she's actually a witch, not... Oh! <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, there you go. resorted to spoiling the game's story and ending for as many people as possible. I kind of figured this... Really? Just, you're going to spoilers now. P.S. My, my, my mentality on spoilers has always been, uh, if, the, if the content is good enough, the spoiler will not matter whatsoever to the experience of the movie. That's just sort of the way I look at it. That's my personal way to look at it. So even if people spoil things for me, I always have that mindset and I continue to watch the stuff anyways. I, I, am, I, I am blessed with the ability to turn off my brain. I also have short-term memory problems, so that tends to help a lot. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah. They're what we thought they were. Oh, dude, I've been able to watch Lord of the Rings so many times. <laughs> it's never about doing something positive or improving the lives of trans people. They simply wanted to ruin this piece of media for you. That was their true goal. The boycotters are who we thought they were. They are who we thought they were. Of all the marginalized <laughs> communities out there, the trans community is arguably the worst served by its supposed advocates. Couldn't have said it better myself. If their goal was to lower overall revenue for this game, they utterly failed at that. Yeah. And if their goal was to promote positivity towards the trans community, they have failed because they continue to portray themselves as deranged lunatics representing. <laughs> so I was hoping he would he would mention something to this degree. Good day, sir. 
<laughs> Let me go back for just a quick second. I was hoping he'd mention something like this. Portray themselves as deranged lunatics representing that community. You lose. Like it's officially the number one single player game ever on Twitch. Like, and the reason I bring this up, I own literally like zero Harry Potter stuff, merchandise, anything whatsoever. I'm not a huge fan. My brother was. My older brother was a huge fan. I, me personally, man, not so much. Uh. I only bought the game because everyone was harassing Bebe. I bought the game specifically because people were harassing other YouTubers, and I said, I'm going to play this specifically because, just to prove a point <laughs> to that degree, the little bit of influence that I could possibly ever have, but it's like, no, if you're going to harass people, like, I'm sorry, your cause is garbage. Your cause is garbage, and you are not an ally to your cause. Good so I, I literally bought the game specifically the into just to go against you. To boot. Think I don't care. Copies of Hogwarts Legacy I'm not even that big of a fan so of Hogwarts, a but I'm going to fling my freaking wand around everywhere I freaking can. Why? Because you, that I just hate the fact that people think harassment and, and this methodology is somehow in any way okay to try to like spread your message. And I really hope if you truly believe harassment and bullying is the way to do it, I hope you fail at that endeavor. I genuinely do. Game twice to own the There's not much else I can say to that degree. I'm trying to stay nice and PG for YouTube's sake. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. You don't seem to understand the situation. I understand that if any more words come pouring out your cunt mouth... I'm going to have to buy every single copy of Hogwarts Legacy in this game. Stop. <laughs> you in video games? You're gonna die for Hogwarts Legacy. Someone is. Someone is. <laughs> playing this game now supports slavery. Good Goodness. You Wait, what? This. You didn't choose this. Like, okay, so it's so it's one thing to say like the game is transphobic, but but pro slavery? The fuck? Oh, <laughs> gee, with so many people taking a stand against. The they really are just know, trying to latch on to anything. Huge negative impact on Hogwarts Legacy, its sales, <laughs> scores, Twitch viewership, and P.S. Charts, please right? drop all hate comments in the comment section. I love to see them. Hogwarts Legacy is officially the number one single player game ever streamed on Twitch. What? Um, uh, 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 surely review scores were impacted. Uh, oh, you won. Nope. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Steam charts. Steam charts. Help me out here. Wait a minute. Overwhelmingly positive. Goodness. From before the game actually launched. You mean these are all players who pre-ordered the deluxe edition? I did not pre-order it. I'm not gonna spend that much money. <laughs> I only got one thing to say to you. Congratulations. You played yourself. It's well said. Harry <laughs> Potter and the law of unintended consequences. Good. You've probably seen many people and posts in response to some of these batshit takes saying something like, okay, P.S. Uh, uh, I did like the Beast the movies, but they were kind of garbage. Oh, they were kind of mid. Just say, Harry Potter's written by a transphobe, so you're transphobic for watching it, and then leave it at that. You're not actually advancing something. Yeah, it's, me, it's, it's, it's a, a nothing about, like, sandwich. Successful, successful protest movements and how people end up hyper-focusing or lasering in on certain things that otherwise are counterproductive. Their methods of boycotting are so obnoxious and in your face that they have actually... Like, instead of celebrating and pointing out the, uh, the awesomeness that there is a trans character in the game, which I just found out about, <laughs> you... Like, you've just been, you've just been echo chambering more hatred towards your community. Counterproductive to the cause itself. Counterproductive. Good, good, good word. <laughs> I said, I beat the game already, but good try. Glad you enjoyed your not Oh, propaganda. goodness. Everything that is, is that. That is a reach so long, I don't even think Noble Team could grab it. I have to do <laughs> hot take videos, okay? The, the Scarlet Brain Rot is infecting me. The boycott is... Scarlet know, Brain Rot. Like those people that throw tomato sauce on famous works of art uh, to, to boycott something, I guess. And everyone's like, wow, that's a pretty douchey thing to... Yeah, the, uh, screw your entire cause. We hate you and your cause, and um, I, I, I literally stopped caring about your cause. I literally stopped caring about you, your cause, and anyone associated with it. That's how, that's how quickly you could ruin your image. That, do, uh, like, uh, don't garbage people, garbage human beings. You're boycotting or whatever you're protesting because you seem like a fucking dickhead. Bro, I heard about people going to... But yes, I don't really care about art or, like, the, 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 the perceived value of these freaking 
you know, whatever mid-tier paintings that people for some reason think are so glamorous and amazing because artists are dead, I guess. It's like the only reason we, we, we glorify these paintings, uh, you know, and, and don't try to argue me on that. Who, you know, you tell me who appreciated Van Gogh when he was alive and I will show you a liar. Uh, but uh, yeah, Joe, just, you're, you're like just terrible, terrible ways to try to get your message across. Uh, instead, you're just fueling, uh, uh, effect effectively, you're just fueling the fires th the that people already the are using when it came out. against you, effectively. You deserve to have their ass beat. Like, you're just <laughs> trying to take enjoyment out of other people's lives yes. for literally nothing in return. Do you know what schadenfreude is? No, I do not know what schadenfreude is. I got a new boy. <laughs> I don't know what that is, I'm real with you. I'm not a smart monkey. But let's take a look at some of the mainstream critics, right? Because I'm sure we'll find much more rational critiques on Hogwarts Legacy fr from professionals, right? When the story for Hogwarts Legacy was revealed in a trailer, people immediately noticed how wrong it felt to have the plot revolve around crushing a rebellion led by an oppressed race. The game is about keeping those uppity Jews in their place. What? The goblins? In what way? Did Kanye write that review? <laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds like that sounds like an actual Kanye line now. Oh goodness, that sounds like a Kanye line now. Let's talk about. No, it is not. What is wrong with you? The big news around. What is wrong with people? Cisgender streamer getting upset, which reveals the layers of bias around reporting on this game. What? I. I love how the writer starts with a little bias of her own towards straight people. For some reason, the big news in the wake of Hogwarts Legacy's launch is that a cisgender... Also, she called them uppity. Like, what? <laughs> like, that was your words. Nobody used that word. Why are you bringing... Like, you're, you're more racist than the... <laughs> oh, why? Come on, man. I can't keep doing this. What? She's, of course, referencing that clip that went viral from Girlfriend Reviews, where after apparently dealing with some harassment in her chat, she got emotional and had to leave the stream, potentially cried. Trans people Aww. and their allies are now bullies for explaining why they don't support the game. Wrong, wrong, wrong. No, the people sending death threats and yeah. harassing streamers. I, I, love how, I love how they just conveniently don't look at that part of it, right? They harass people and trying to spoil the game. Those are the bullies. Created a literal Was website bullied? to target people to harass. Cry? Neither of these things have any real proof behind them. Dude, she's writing this article just to downplay any potential harassment that might have occurred. What the fuck's wrong with you? Like, seeing how toxic and unhinged some of the boycotters are, it's completely believable that they would say some wild shit to girlfriend reviews. Ultimately, they were accused of supporting bigotry, but then when even explaining reasons against supporting the game is bullying, what does it even matter? You see what dumb old Stacy is doing here? She's completely willing to make the assumption that the harassment wasn't bad enough for anybody to complain about, but is also assuming that the comments f uh, that caused that clip uh, were completely reasonable questions. Remind me again about the layers of bias in game journalism? <laughs> JK Rowling basically said, again, oh, there's yeah, zero yeah, way to avoid game. bias. Okay, whatever. I don't believe wrong. I don't believe in unbiased anything. It's impossible. You are human. You have your own thoughts. You have your own opinions. There's nothing you could do that is not going to be biased. Even if you want, the, even if the attempt is to be unbiased, it's impossible. You you are you are your own, your thoughts and opinions and you know nurture and nature. You are. You're, you you are you yourself and your thoughts, but you are also the influences that have been put upon you as you grew up. Like, it's just impossible, in my opinion. That was the extent of her involvement. And yet all these people are Whatever they may be, I'm, there's no way to be specific about that. Other reviewers like IGN and the game developers themselves. Whatever influences, like I mean. You are just blind firing at everyone involved in this game. Are there trans people who talk in extremes about this game? Absolutely. But for every example you hit back with of exactly that happening, we can respond tenfold with what happens to us. This is not a two wrongs make a right situation. It absolutely is. Thank you for specifying. This is like saying, what's that? You're poor? Uh, well, I'm homeless, so your struggle is completely invalid. Yeah. Enjoy your food stamps. Like, what the fuck? It's the, it's, Dude, it's the oppression the Olympics, Olympics, the victim Olympics. <laughs> there you go, suffering the Olympics. Are finding out what it's like to be transgender on the internet, shouted at and harassed constantly by playing Hogwarts Legacy and they don't like it. What's that? People don't like being harassed? <laughs> I don't believe it! Hey! I don't like being bullied and harassed. So I'm gonna go bully and harass someone else. 
What did you accomplish? You're just a piece of garbage. Like, that's all you've accomplished here. Well, you are as bad as the people harassing you. To me, uh, I love targeted harassment, too. And I can tell like, justifying harassment. Well. How I mean, insane, dude. vibe of, like, I enjoy suffering and hope it spreads to others. And I can really get down with that vibe, you know? More people should be harassed for playing video games. I completely They agree. should not. <laughs> on February 4th, I was made aware of the extensive and blatant ad campaign for Hogwarts Legacy on Twitch. Utilizing and interrupting streams to promote this offensive product. Blah, 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 blah. I will not be streaming this game while the ad campaign remains active. I call on every streamer to join me in taking a stance against bigotry, hatred, and those who support such views i'm trans myself can we stop the virtue signaling no one cares <laughs> this is a really selfish perspective you're screwing all the good hard working people who made the game with no hate in their soul just to be vindictive towards one person yikes seriously one trans person that had literally nothing to do with it like she's already gotten her check you think you think she didn't get the check the moment that they did the, like done Every avenue of the game is she's already gotten those checks. She's already rich. Even if you cut off the money from this game to her, she's still filthy, stinking rich. Like, she's got all the money in the world. So why don't we take the game? Great example that I, that I just found out about. Take the trans character and celebrate them. Make it something that could actually get more people involved in the community. In the trans community. And P.S., Anyone who wants to throw hate at me for whatever the heck, you don't even know what I am, do you? Because I'm just an anime character on your screen. You can't tell if I'm making this voice up, if it's modified, or if it's my real voice. Can you? <laughs> you don't know nothing about me, and I sure as heck ain't gonna tell you any real information. Even my frickin' IP address is faked. <laughs> trans woman, I believe everyone should be free to enjoy Seriously, dude. legacy. I pre-ordered it and plan on enjoying it myself. Everyone has been waiting for a game like this, and we need to separate JK from the game developers who have worked endlessly to bring us a masterpiece. But fuck those game developers. Apparently, I saw a great quote in my comments section. You can say what a good person should be like, or simply be one. Yeah. <laughs> Lead by right example, there, my dudes. Honest. I should get that comment framed. Now, I think as a palate cleanser, we, we need some good takes, okay? Every day there's new trans legislation being written to basically eliminate trans people from existence. Y'all are talking about a video game that I'm not even playing. Recognize that this is about engagement on Twitter, a feeling of hopelessness and nothing else. This is, this is the thing, dude. When you confront these people with like, hey, you could actually contribute like I did, like I I, I donated to a charity at yeah. Trans Lifeline on stream. <laughs> watch them, watch them turn around real quick. Watch them. <laughs> pointed it out, said, "Hey, donate if you want to boycott the game." Absolutely. Donate that sixty bucks there. Yeah, my dude. Was there you go. Nope, I can't do that. I'm broke. Donate money and actually help. Wow. Put your money where your mouth is, or stop bitching and virtue signaling. Yeah. No, I'm not doing either. I'm not doing either. Mad. I don't want a solution. Yeah. <laughs> donated to help trans people and your response is, this ain't it, chief. Yeah, they don't want to help. Yeah. They <laughs> this guy is literally using his platform. <laughs> they, wow, well put, my dude. Lost trigger. Well put. Well put. <laughs> abundantly clear by now. Here is a solution to these problems. This. Well, I don't, I don't want a solution. No, I want, I want to harass people about online. <laughs> They're actively shutting down people trying to do that. No shade to people who want to boycott the game. I respect your viewpoints, but what if I told you people can like Harry Potter, but also not agree with or support JK's views? Like, do we really need to be sending death threats over this shit? Stop thinking rationally on Twitter. It will do you no good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back to some dog water tape. Oh, man, who was it? It was Asmon Gold that said, if, if, if you cannot logic someone out of a position they did not logic themselves into, it's like they, 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 they are not trying to see things for what they are. They are trying to virtue signal. They are trying to just harass people. It's, it's like you're never going to win an argument with them or really ex or really get them to understand any kind of logic because any kind of logic would destroy their excuse. So it, it's just not going to happen, dude. Hogwarts Legacy does not deserve to be reviewed on its own merits. Great. I can imagine <laughs> journals and reviews or critiques of media and thinking this is ever an acceptable stance to take. The worst part, part is that these want, these it, it is these companies are hiring these people to, to write unbiased reviews. Harming a community Goodness. Of <laughs> but then you see how the polarizing reviews are coming in 
where Wired has just posted theirs. And Dude, you want a legit criticism? Have... You want a legit criticism? Harry Potter has the worst map layout I've, I've, I've experienced in a while. I hate the fast travel system. It needs to be way simpler. And I can't find any freaking shop or figure out, like, the game never tells you where to buy stuff that you need for quests. Like, when you need specific seeds, I couldn't figure out where the heck to buy certain seeds. How's it going, Chaos? Watch Pick Me live stream today. She seems to be doing better now. Sadly, she uh, will be leaving us at the end of the month just for having uh, an idea of playing the game. Yeah, just just for thinking about playing the game. Just for thinking of it is the saddest thing ever, dude. My the little tea the little tea kettle. She is one of the few uh, uh, Japanese YouTubers that I watch consistently because she's a uh, uh, you know she's she's not uh, uh, she's half Japanese half uh, I don't know what else but she speaks English and she was bullied a lot for that when she was younger. In case anyone doesn't know that, uh, Pikami was bullied very often for not being full Japanese uh, when she was in school over there. Uh, so that's the reason why she became a VTuber, in order to hopefully get an audience, uh, English-speaking audience, that would be a little bit more understanding of that sort of like cultural divide. And, and there you have it, that same freaking audience harassed her off the platform, dude. I, I hate that but so much. So exactly much. I genuinely hope she either goes independent... Away. Or something, dude. Would not... I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. And this is complete. I have no evidence or anything like that. Please, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the agency told her not to stream Hogwarts, and maybe even that could have been like the jump-off point where she said, "You know what? I want my own freaking like. You know, I'm, I'm just I'm gonna go independent. I'm really hoping she goes independent. Uh, pick a me, please. But if I understand, if you don't, if pick a me does not." I completely understand it. Be reviewed on its Just own a sad case. time, my dude. I want sad to make time. To you right now, that as a transgender individual, I have no interest in that kind of fairness or objectivity when it comes to Hogwarts Legacy. I feel a moral imperative to oppose it. I like, bro, listen to your own words. I have no interest in that kind of fairness or objectivity. You don't want fairness or objectivity as a journalist. Right now that as a transgender individual, I have no interest in that kind of You had one job, bro. When it comes to you had one job. <laughs> I feel a moral imperative to oppose it. Ah, yes. The layers of bias in reporting on this game. Hogwarts Legacy Chaos, remind me after the stream. I gotta get your mod merits. permissions and it's everything updated. There's a couple of new can. features. That's what I'm going to do. I'm making this video to focus on the discourse side and a separate video to review it, which I'm going to ignore this topic completely. If you cannot separate the art from the artist, then you have failed your job as a critic yep. and you get the fuck out of this profession. Agree. I, to say we I fully agree with that statement. Timeline. If IGN, the people that are known for giving like Call of Duty 9s and 10s and actual good games a Mid score. They are the ones that are coming out with balance. Ten out of ten IGN. Okay, GK. who actually takes IGN serious anymore? They ten out of ten every word bad. Like every, they're so they're so biased. They've always been biased. The like the, work, <laughs> the artists from the art. You can give something Does anybody take IGN ten out of ten like serious? Ten out of ten IGN. Ten out of ten. Like that's literally chaos. Like <laughs> we literally every time we play a bad game, we always just look at each other like ten out of ten IGN. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten IGN. Ten out of ten. Best game. Best game. Best game. IGN. Ten out of ten. <laughs> you are a hack for writing this article, Percy Ranson. You are a hack. There is no magic Goodness, in strong legacy. opinions here. The game is mid at best. One out of ten. <laughs> 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 I love that. It, yeah, it's it's mid at best. One yeah. out of ten. It is a little something for everyone. It's mid. One out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten, of ten IGN. <laughs> tropes. The gameplay feels outdated. The graphics feel like they're a couple generations behind. It's rooted in anti-Semitic tropes. Are dog shit. The graphics, the graphics are good. Are dog shit. The graphics are dog shit. This like, bro, you take yourself you seriously, dude. Goodness. Only four of the twenty paragraphs written are directly about the game itself. You are a hack. These people, <laughs> who I trust in game journalism, has been eroded. You have no business reviewing games for a profession. Yeah, I don't. I don't ever look at game reviews anymore. I literally just wait for whatever. Like, I will literally wait for a nothing. Like, and I'm so sorry to call anyone this as a nothing sandwich YouTuber myself. Uh, I will literally wait for a nothing sandwich YouTube. Like, even if it's not the Act Man, even if it's not Asmon, it could be a you know twenty subscriber dude. The first review i see put up that like seems like they just genuinely talk about the game in any kind of object like i will listen to that person like even if it's the tiniest youtubers i will trust over a actual review anymore dude i have lost all faith in journalists i really have well some of them 
aren't looking for anything logical. They can't and that's not for any other reason than I have trusted journalists, bought in the games, and then just not had the experience that they had. <laughs> you see, I'm all for people standing up and doing something positive for what they believe in. The problem is you have people in subreddits like r slash gaming circle jerk. Like, I bought Cyberpunk based on a freaking review, and I hated it. I've beaten the game like nine times <laughs> because I was one of those dudes who was heavily invested from day one into cyberpunk. But yeah, no, the, the, the journalists lied to me. <laughs> Certain journalists gave it way too much credit when it didn't deserve any, and I bought the game. However, at the current state that it's in, it's actually a legit game now. I'm gonna be real with y'all. If you guys like uh, uh, cyberpunk edge runners, which I haven't watched, I will, I swear, but I'm finishing Chainsaw Man. It's so good. Uh, but uh, uh, do do check out the, the cyberpunk game now. It's actually been uh, patched uh, uh, immensely at this point. Karma for pointless internet points. Points that contribute nothing to the actual cause, but do contribute to their own sense of self-satisfaction. Because if this shit... Also, uh, play as a nomad. The other... The Reddit, Corpo and Street Thug... Go, 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 like... Done my part. Spoiler alert. Garbage storylines. Not garbage storylines, but the, the nomad is the only one that has a storyline that I feel like blends well with the rest of the story of Cyberpunk, and you also get a free car. Alert. You haven't done shit. Stop pretending like you care. Fucking donate to a lifeline. The the mod team at r slash gaming circle jerk would rather pin spoilers for the game than a fucking charity. They these people got yeah. no problems wasting hours and hours bitching and moaning on Twitter, screeching into the void. But when confronted with something that they can actually do that has a tangible positive benefit on real people, well, excuses. Excuses, excuses. I can't donate. I'm broke. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, you're a bad person for donating. <laughs> Stop using trans... It's like, bro, the, at the very least, if you're deciding I'm going to boycott this game, which is like, a boycott only works if you even, you know, first of all, intended to buy the game. Uh, but if you're going to boycott it, like, again, a, a genuine, like, a very genuine thing to do would be to donate the same amount of money that you are boycotting Effectively, in this case, seventy dollars for the deluxe edition, or sixty. I would, I would even, I would even say it's fair to just go with, you know, uh, half of that. So forty-five dollars, like that means that is a thousand times more productive towards your cause than any amount of harassment or online, like, uh, uh what's the word that they ju they just used? Freaking. Oh, I don't even use the word because I don't like it's not even really, but whatever. Like any sort of uh, baiting for 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 glory, uh, clout, clout, whatever stuff. You know what I'm saying? Clout. It's people as a vessel fishing. for your <laughs> karma. Okay. And, he, and chaos. You know I the lingo. I to Tell me. <laughs> I just wanted to privately say thank you for actually being a real world change for trans people like me. I don't believe playing a game makes you transphobic. I do believe villainizing people for playing games creates more transphobes. And harassing people breeds extremism. Awful way to win allies. Yeah. And if you want to make allies in the first place, there is a saying, right? You, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Right? Like, the moment you get into this point where you're, like, bullying people, they're not really going to want to be an ally. They're going to probably be radicalized in an opposite direction, which is the last thing you want. Or, if it's someone like me, who genuinely tries to be good to every single human being ever, uh, my form of effectively boycotting your boycott is just, you know, as someone who has never, literally never purchased any merchandise Harry Potter related, even the movies, I never purchased, went to go see in theaters, I've only ever watched them when my brother played them because he got the freaking stuff, uh, uh, or whatever. Like, I purchased the game with zero intention of buying it, just because of the harassment, because you guys are harassing some of my favorite creators, you guys are harassing genuinely innocent people, you are harassing allies to the cause. There you go. There you have it. Keep that's doing what you do. It's that's what you are are, are making that happen. Has saved my life before. Get more attention and donations. If anything good has come from this line of discussion, it's that. Thank you to the person for sending me this incredible message. Uh, it's good to know I did the right thing. After I donated two thousand to that's, that. I'm gonna be real with you. That this is that's right right there. Is, is, like this is absolutely aside from the entire uh, topic or subject but the the ability to help certain people through struggles the ability to entertain people the ability to just give people a place to be able to uh, go to a sort of sense of community that's the reason why I love and want to be a, you know a youtuber
and sort of build a community here. And that's why I want to do this. Because I've been ex inspired by so many so. other YouTubers as well. One final point. What do you think r slash gaming circle jerk's reaction to that was? Take a while. Hatred. Guys. Harassment. Come on now, lads. Act man is still the no politics in my video guy. A KKK member could come on here and say trans rights and white trans people will just go redemption arc. Yes. Um, they compared me what? to a KKK member. That's what they did. In the famous words of Rage Against the Machine. They, lit they literally just take anything and call it like, bro, you guys are literally like now when whenever someone calls someone else a nazi i i like i can't even take it seriously anymore i genuinely can't take it seriously anymore because i don't know if, if they're just using that word to describe everything now know your enemy and if you go into the comments on this reddit post you're doing a disservice dude about donating to charity or raising money none of them i don't even know why you'd want to claim act man dude is annoying and makes gamer bro content that's my point we should not let gestures like these no matter how right they are on their own blind us and praise shite content creators remember guys we we still <laughs> have hate 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 remember yeah yeah circle jerk if you're going to for the hatred we donate more money burn the earth tree to <laughs> causes then what does that say about you you've become exactly what you hate a monster. The <laughs> I love this guy. The people getting <laughs> who is this? I have to freaking doesn't mean anything to them except they just like Harry Potter. They're not sharing any views with anyone. Alienating people with baseless labels serves no purpose. All it does is continue to divide everyone. Hope someday you can understand that. In the meantime, I'm going to be in Hogwarts, bitch. So in conclusion. <laughs> Just because you're something <laughs> what a great moral imperative in the meantime <laughs> shitty person and everyone should just excuse that i know I this love video it. was a bit out there for what i typically post on the main channel rest assured it this is not a, a new direction for the channel or anything i really just had to vent on this because the amount of stupidity and shitheads i saw was just spark the fire in my heart i think at this point we should actively d ignore this discourse because i want to get back to talking about video games mechanics and deep thoughtful analysis of this hobby i love that i turned into yes a career. please so analyze hogwarts that. they There's have the so many issues with like where clarifying yeah, where to get items and the developer frankly the, the map is too confusing for, for me i don't like it <laughs> you're not a bad person for simply boycotting and refusing to play the game just remember that the ends do not always justify the means but thank you all for watching let me know your thoughts and opinions also i hate the fact below. that you can't like fly your broom into, into the school you have to like land outside the school and enter content. one of the doors hate right, that everyone that's all i got but want to land on the freaking bridge all right everyone that's all i got for today this is the act man signing out peace Great clip. Great video, act man. Thank you so much. Drop you a like there. Bam. And I don't know if I did or did not, but I'm going to I'm gonna uh, copy and paste this on chat for anyone and everyone to go like, uh, you know, comment, tell them I sent you, don't tell them I sent you, don't do any of that, do any of that, whatever you want to do. But just in general, they deserve at least a like, you know, they put a lot of effort into the content. Uh... <laughs>